jelly babes welcome back to my channel so this video was upload uploaded in time by the skin of my teeth <laughs> i'm getting so behind with my schedule at the moment because of um not being well but i've got these three beauties from born pretty that were very kindly sent to me for review so we've got chameleon holographic polishes these are cat eye as well which is just awesome so it's like just staring into a galaxy in a bottle and then I've also I've got from the Sweet Bubble series, it's a peel off polish as well. So I'm going to put the peel off polish on my own nails because I will do a wear test and the results of that will be at the end of this video. I am using Born Pretty's 2-in-1 base and top coat as well, which I've already applied. So like I say, this is from the Sweet Bubble series. Um, it's like th they're pinky nudie tones. So this is a gorgeous nude polish not everybody wants the bright nails so i thought i'd apply them onto my own now so you do like i say you can get a bit of a wear test as well so this is it after the first coat don't worry too much about getting it absolutely perfect because obviously you can just get your cleanup brush and some uh, remover some polish remover and you know touch up any mistakes afterwards Try not to mess around with it too much, obviously, because it is meant to be a peel off polish. So that's all my nails done with the one coat, which is quite pigmented, really. But I'm just going to go in with uh, another coat. So it's only two coats for it to be completely opaque. And then I'm going to go in with the top coat. <laughs> and I noticed before I opened it, I almost made like a little paw print. There you go, got a pour in a bottle. I'm going to apply that to the nails now and leave to dry. So our top coat's good, just, you know, smoothing everything out and making it super shiny, as you can see there. So that is it all done. I have done these on both of my hands as well. But before I did like a little swatch reveal, I was like, oh, I didn't want to like trash it, getting my rings out. So here you go. If you need to get any jewellery, just get a brush and get it out that way. That way, no scratching or dents in your nail polish. So this is how it looks. So like I say, the results of this wear test will be uh, on at the end of the video and I'll peel them off also. And there's my other hand. So I do really like this colour. It's a lovely nudie base. And it's going to go with, you know, any clothes that you're wearing because of the nature of the this sort of polish and the colour. So moving on now to this absolutely stunning um, polish. I mean, just look at that. We've got the chameleon and the hollow. It's just so gorgeous. So you are going to need to provide this over a black base. So I've applied um, a black gel polish. I don't know what's happened at the top. It went a little bit wrinkled. So with this... I applied it on and then um, I think because I'd done two coats with the other one I just totally forgot that actually you probably need to do this on the first coat but I had to just leave it to dry but that's how it looks after one coat anyway so it was so hard to capture but you've got the hollowness going on all over the place and then you've got the chameleon as well so I went in with the second coat once that was dry and then came straight in with the cat eye magnet and just held that as close as possible for about 10 seconds over the nail. And then when you remove it, you get that flash of like green and blue. But I really did. I've seen like people um, swatch this and it's just such a gorgeous uh, sort of multi-use polish because you could have it as it is. Obviously you can have the cat eye, you can have different magnets that you use. So I don't know how ones get that total crisp line straight away. I kind of find like as it was drying, it spread out a little bit. So the ring finger is just, um, I think it was three coats of it, just as is. And then obviously the other two were with the, um, with the cat eye. So excuse the ugly nail pose, but I'm just trying to show you here that in different angles, you'll get different look. So this way you'll get more of a hollow look and then in other lights or other angles, you'll see more of the chameleon. It's a very, very pretty polish.
and this is the next one so obviously this has got more of a pinky tone to it and this one is called fascinating and it certainly is so i just thought i'd show you how you know the consistency of the polish so it's not dead thick and it's not too thin it's probably more on the sort of thinner side than it is thick so i'm just i'm obviously with this one i'm going to put the magnet over it straight away on the first coat but there's nothing wrong with putting a first coat on letting that dry and then coming in with the second coat i suppose it'll just give you more hollow and obviously you can just wear it as a normal polish without the cat eye as well so i do love that multi-purpose look that you can get with this when you take it away you have that flash of that gorgeous pink that comes through so it is totally like looking at you know into a galaxy or something like that so the where i'm just wearing it without the cat eye is actually the middle finger now and here comes the ugly nail pose to show you the different looks that you can receive in the different angles I really like this one. I probably am more drawn to this one than the other one, but that's probably simply down to the fact that it's got purpley, pinky colours in it. So this is the wear test reveal now. So as you can see, this is 48 hours and it doesn't look too bad, but on this one it chipped a fair bit on the thumb. But being completely honest, I didn't expect this to even last to the end of the day when I applied it because normal polish just doesn't last that long on me. I'm very heavy handed stuff chips really easily and um, so the fact that it lasted 48 hours i was really pleased with and like i said there's some slight wear and tear more on the right hand because i am right handed obviously so i'm just going to peel it off now so normally you would get some like either a cuticle pusher or wooden stick and this really didn't want to come off and i was going along here going what is going on with this I actually went off after I tried to get this nail off and looked back on the website thinking, have I got this completely wrong and is this actually not a peel off polish? Um, but no, this is the peel off polish. The Thousands Love is part of their peel off collection and I did eventually get it to come off. But bearing in mind it is called a peel off polish, I was not impressed because it was really difficult trying to get it off. I expect just to be able to push the cuticle pusher in and then it kind of almost like pop off um, like it does with any other peel off polish. Whereas with this one, it was a lot more work. And I was having the same issue here. And with this finger in particular, it just, it just didn't want to come off. It just felt like I was trying to get normal polish off by peeling it off. So I don't know whether there's been a mix up in that this isn't a peel off polish, but it's labeled as such. But I mean, on some cases it did peel off, but yeah, this is going to be the worst peel off polish I've ever used in my life. In fact, I've peeled off gel polish easier than it's, than it's took me with this one. So very disappointed in that. Not really much more I can say on it. Yeah, <laughs> I just resorted to this quite quickly um, just to remove it off with just some acetone. So there you go. So it is all off, but that has been mainly down to wash with the acetone. So yeah, so the holographic chameleon ones I'm really, really impressed with. The peel off one, I was, you know, I love the colour and the fact that it did last 40 hours on me was, was really good. But I don't know, it, I would not be putting this in a peel off category because it just didn't. But that is it for me today, Jelly Babes. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.